Hi everyone, hope you're well. So Google Analytics 4 has launched. Uh, for anyone who uses Google Analytics or thought about using Google Analytics, it's a quite a fundamental change to the existing universal analytics. And if you've had a look around, or read of any of the blogs that are out there, one of the things you've probably noticed or heard of is that bounce rate has gone. So if you have used Google Analytics at all in the past, up until recently, you recognize this report. This is the standard source and medium report within Google Analytics, and you recognize this column here, bounce rate. Um, so we know at a basic level, bounce rate is the measure of someone who's left your website without looking at a second page. So traditionally, uh, if I visit your blog page, I read all the way to the bottom and then leave again, I will be classed as having bounced because I didn't interact with the page. If we flip over to Google Analytics 4, you can see that the bounce rate column is no longer here. Uh, a few columns in here about engagement and in particular this one, engagement rate. So engagement rate within Google Analytics 4 is trying to take a more positive spin on what bounce rate was. So by a more positive spin, we mean that Google Analytics 4 is trying to put more emphasis on what users did do when they were there. So in that same example, if I visit a blog on your website and I scroll all the way to the bottom and then leave, Rather than being classed as having bounced, I will be classed as having engaged because one of the default uh, metrics and measurements in Google Analytics 4 is tracking people when they get 90% of the way down a page or a post. So as long as I reach 90% of the way down a page or a post on your website, I'm classed as having engaged. There are other things that it builds in there um, to, for interaction. So document downloads, uh, YouTube played, video plays, and obviously your own tracking. Um, but engagement is a, is almost like the opposite of what bounce rate was. So an oversimplified way of looking at that, if you had a bounce rate of 60% uh, on old Google Analytics and new Google Analytics, you're probably going to have an engagement rate of 40% or more. Realistically, it's probably going to be more because some of those people who were bouncing before might actually have been scrolling all the way down the page or interacting in another, in another way that you weren't recording it. So bounce rate is gone, but don't worry. Um, engagement rate is here, and actually, I think probably it's a better way of measuring uh, how people interact with the page and how good your pages are.